come again, or we do bring get information. We be say hey, if you hear now, you go like that. And now we do hot and they bring them come to you. I beg you go help us to share, help us to like, and help us to subscribe. I beg. If we are not wanted in Nigeria, and does Biafra exit? Biafra agitation is beyond Mazin Namdekano and Simon Epa. That's according to President of Wishima Foundation telling Tinibu to release Mazin Namdekano now. Yes, that's Obidibo, Chike Obidibo, Ojimbola Ahmed Tinibu to authorize unconditional release of Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, to begin the post of national renewal. Yes, Obidibo disclosed that given the difficult situation of the country, the continued incarceration of the IPU leader serves no useful purpose, stressing that although Kano's detention is impacting neg negatively on the Southeast economy, it is also affecting Nigeria's social political stability. Oh, yes, not only Southeast, he said, even Nigeria is being affected by his continued detention. Now, he advised Tinibu to discontinue his promise to continue in the steps of former President Muhammad Buhari, noting that Buhari's tactics are not beneficial to the social economic survival of the country. Yes, of course, Tinibu said he will continue with boys' uh, policies. But what the boy is saying, look, don't go in that regard the, on the issue of Mazam Kano. It will be counterproductive if you continue in that regard of Buhari on the issue of Mazam Kano. Oh, yes, that is what is happening now in a statement titled, quote, my final advice to my friend, Tinibu to free Namdekano immediately and unconditionally. Obudibo remarked that Nibu needs some form of appeasement. He says that the bitterness on both sides, both devices, is still gaining serious momentum as Nibu remains the underdogs. The full statement goes this way, quote, Only President Tinibu knows whether holding the IPOB leader is containing Buhari's handover notes. But whatever reasons Buhari may have advanced, Tinibu as the incumbent should evaluate the details of such blind and had hearted disposition and use his good offices to review and release Kano. As a concerned elder citizen, I know of a truth that the political situation of any developing country impinges on its economy just as the peace, security and well-being of the citizens constitute the primary purpose of government. So my final and well-intentioned advice to my friend and fellow elder statesman, Jab Jagaban, is to release Kanu if truly he desires to build a nation out of this so-called geographical expression known as Nigeria. Granted that President Tinubu declared his intention to continue with the policies of former President Buhari, including anti-people economic programs, I believe that the continued detention of Mazi Namdukani remains counterproductive. The former president always referred to the civil war, making it plausible that there was a plan to unleash another mayhem on Igbo. Kanu emerged and started showing evidence that Ndibo are not wanted in Nigeria, and his message resonated with all well meaning Igbo. Igbo except the few that were enjoying political benefits from the system. As things stand now, the BF agitation has become sweet music to the ears of young people. Kano has fulfilled his divinely ordained purpose, which was to set the Biafra ball rolling down the cliff. Having successfully achieved that mission, it is crystal clear that Kano no longer holds the key, the key to quench the fire or to stop the rolling boulder. As such, detaining him further seems like a drowning man clutching onto any straw. Even the more volatile Simon Iqbal cannot quench the Biafra agitation. With the momentum, it continues to gather. I advise President Tinibu to use his tongue to count his states. I am done with making a request for the release of Kano. But let it be known that keeping the IPOB leader further will never usher in the much-needed peace and national harmony. A decision must be taken at this juncture, whether the Igbo are still wanted in Nigeria or not. 
If the answer is in the affirmative, that is where Namde Kano becomes most valuable because in his today's having of the Igbo spirit, rather than any of the current artificial Igbo social political leaders. Outside of this, it will be very clear to all, particularly in the Igbo, that the Third General was no victor, no vanquished slogan was actually programmed to be an empty rhetoric, mischievously intended to deceive and to punish. As a senior citizen and community leader that resides in Igbo land, I make bold to say that the negative impact of state at home on economic activities is huge, but Igbo do not care and may decide to go extra mile to show solidarity for Kano. But in the present circumstances, it is imperative that Kano should be released because he has not committed any crime except advocating a better lease of life for his people. His continued detention will not solve any problem because the entire Igbo are tacitly behind him. A crime was committed against Kano because he was kidnapped from Kenya and kidnapping is a crime against humanity. So President Tinubu should order his release to pave way for national conversation, for national stability. Releasing Kano should be a veritable way to begin conversation for peace building in the country because every adult is pained by nepotism and double standard against Ndebo. If we are no longer wanted in Nigeria, the president should endorse Igbo exit. End of quote. I've seen it now. Yes, this man, either statesman, Obidibo, have said it all. Yes, say this is beyond Mazin Namdekano and even the more volatile Mazin Simon Ekba. Say the momentum they have gathered. Yes, the duo of Mazin Namdekano and Mazin Simon Ekba have gathered momentum in recent times. So they are, the BFI situation is beyond this young man. Yes, these enigmas, wonderful, beyond them. Say this message, say, look, Mazin Namdekano has achieved his purpose in life. Oh yes, this man is making a wonderful statement. Say the young people of the Biafrans, Igbo people, the young generation have taken his message to heart. His message of liberation, freedom. Oh yes. Said he painted the free picture of the Igbo marginalization. And as they saw it, and they say yes, it is true. We are being marginalized. The story is with him, and they start to follow him. Yes. As we say, it's beyond them, it's beyond this young man. Yes. That is it. Said so all Biafrans, all Libos, they are tacitly behind Masa Manipa, Masa Said so they are behind Biafra cause. Only those who are benefiting politically from the mere geographical expression entity. So they are the only ones against the movement to restore Biafra. So apart from them, so the Igbos all over the world, they are in full support of the Biafran agitation. Yes, so only those who are benefiting politically, fishing in troubled waters, okay, and the mere geographical expression, the entity called Nigeria, the only ones with different, you know, belief and understanding. The rest of the Igbos, they are in full support of the Biafran cause, the Biafran agitation. That is what is happening. He said, Tidibu, if you don't want the Igbos, endorse the exit, let them go. They are asking for liberation. They are not begging you to stay with you. They are not begging you for anything. Endorse the exit, let them go. That's what the man is saying. The other states, man, the Bidibu. Yes. So he said his, his own final advice to Tinibu concerning Mazin Amkano, concerning Biafra agitation. Yes. So Mazin Amkano has made his, has achieved his purpose in life. That one touched, you know, to the heart. Achieving his purpose in life. The young people has been mobilized. Yes. It's inside them. It's in, inside them. He has, you know, indoctrinated them. It's entrenched in the hearts of the young people about the Biafra. Children are talking about Biafra. Babies sucking breasts are talking about Biafra. 
Oh, yes. So that is the point.